Hi, I'm Taylor Walker for E! News Now. With their big day coming soon, Kate and Will squeezed in a final trip together, greeting students out of college. Hey guys, I'm Taylor Walker for E! News Now. The American Idol judge and mama of twins glows from within on both the big and small screens. According to J-Lo, being a perfect 10 takes hard work. The 41-year-old triple threat lands the cover of People's Most Beautiful Issue on Stan's Friday. Jen tells the mag being glam is part of her job, joking, I don't want anybody thinking it's easy. HDTV widescreen is nobody's friend. As for being a proud member of the Diva Club, Lopez says, I kind of like it, but adds, I've never been a person who has what they call diva behavior. Halle Berry and Beyonce are among the other gorgeous celebs on the mags list. Sexy sirens Christina Hendricks and Sofia Vergara top the bombshell category, while George Clooney and newly single Ryan Reynolds make the cut for the men. Thanks for watching E! News Now. Keep clicking E! Online for your entertainment fix. Now I have kind of a funny thing for you guys. I was in the locker room before you guys even hit those showers. So when you're all big time this season, can I come back for another interview? I'm here with Miguel Masonette, MVP of the Empire Challenge. Miguel, just tell us a little bit about your background and where you're headed. I'm Taylor Walker for Ultimate Athlete Magazine, here with game host Boomer Esiason at the Empire Challenge. Boomer, first of all, I just want to congratulate you. It's your 14th year presenting the Empire Challenge. It's really been quite a run, hasn't it? It really has been. Kind of like your father running down the <laughs> sidelines, catching touchdowns over my Cincinnati Bengals. How are you doing, all right? I'm doing well. I'm doing really yeah, great. this is absolutely terrible. This is a great thing. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work. You know, I have a lot of staff and a lot of volunteers that put in a lot of sweat equity to make this game happen. And, you know, what I hope for is great memories for the guys that are playing in it. Absolutely. And, you know, you, last year at this time, $68 million raised by the Boomer Sison Foundation. And I know it's been kind of tough economically this year. How's fundraising coming along? Any new projects? Uh, so you have a ton of support in the community, which is amazing. What are your thoughts? Willie Kalan's here tonight. He's a former Empire Challenge player turned Super Bowl champion. Well, he's got a Super Bowl ring, and I don't have one. <laughs> so I guess he's okay. No, but it's great to have him back. Melvin Fowler's back. Uh, the New York Jet rookie class, including their quarterback, Mark Sanchez, is going to be here tonight. My son's playing for the Long Island team tonight. Uh, the city kids have had a great week of practice. Right now, with the weather the way it is, beautiful women like you, <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. And I do, your son, Gunner, he's a senior this year. He'll be taking the field for Friends Academy. What's going on in your mind now that your son's going to be out there on the field? Uh, you know what? Um, as a father, and I'm sure Wesley would agree with me, we're very, very proud of when, uh, when our children accomplish something in their lives. And, and for Gunnar, I don't think anybody thought that he would ever be here, and they're going to be hiding so nobody could find me. <laughs> the tears might be rolling. Yes, they will be, definitely. <laughs> and this game is going to give these guys memories to last probably their entire lifetime, like you mentioned before. What are a couple of your best football memories? Well I'm here with Willie Kalan, former Empire Challenge player turned Super Bowl champion. Willie, just tell me a little bit about what it means to be back here tonight. Uh, it's a great honor. You know, anytime we come back and show love to the fellow young guys that are playing in this game, city kids, uh, you know, hopefully they can see me and uh, see the success I've had and uh, they can keep going. Great. Now, there was a little story you had during your draft today, right? Your phone shut off. It was dead. Cowboys called you first. You didn't get the call. Your agent called you the next day, said you were drafted by the Steelers. Was the Steelers the right place for you? Oh, uh, no doubt. It's definitely a blue collar town. And uh, I'm a blue collar player, and, and uh, everything just turned out for the best, man. And uh, I've had great success so far, and I just try to continue it. Great. Well, good luck in the upcoming season. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I'm here with Britt and Keith, two rookies for the New York Jets for the 2009-2010 season. So just tell a little bit about what you're looking forward to in the upcoming season. Now, I have kind of a funny thing for you guys. I was in the locker room before you guys even hit those showers. So when you're all big time this season, can I come back for another interview? Oh, yeah. You can definitely come back. You're welcome. Okay. Anytime. <laughs> Sounds good. Good luck this season, guys. Thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Taylor Walker, and I'm here at LI Laxfest 2009 and the UA Sports Expo. Let's see what they have going on.
We had a great time here at Lax Fest 2009 and the UA Sports Expo. We really hope to see you next year. This is Taylor Walker for Ultimate Athlete Magazine.